Proudly we hail. From New York City, where the American stage begins, here is another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station for your Army and your Air Force to bring you this story, as proudly we hail the Queen of Battle, the United States Infantry. Our story is entitled, Four of a Kind. This is the story of a patrol action in the darkness of Korea, the story of four brave men. Our first act curtain will rise in just a moment, but first, young men, when you volunteer for service in the United States Army today, you can rest assured that your best talents and natural skills will be considered in giving you an assignment to your liking. Yes, today's modern army fits the right men to the right jobs, and real merit is recognized with faster promotions and more opportunities. Now, more than ever before, Men with above average ability are finding better jobs and more important assignments in the U.S. Army. Why not investigate an Army enlistment for yourself today and find out just what you stand to gain? Full information is available at your nearest U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force recruiting station. And now your Army and your Air Force present the proudly we hail production, Four of a Kind. His name is Edgar Allan Standish. His dad is a professor of American literature at an Eastern University. And he named his first son after one of America's greatest writers, Edgar Allan Poe. Of course, when the youngster was born 23 years ago, Professor Standish had no way of knowing the boy would grow up to be a writer. But he took no chances and named him Edgar Allan anyway. So far, Edgar Allan Standish has matched his illustrious namesake in one respect, like Poe, he became a sergeant in the army. And maybe one day, like Poe, he'll become a famous writer. But all that will have to wait. Because unfortunately for our civilization, through no fault of ours, right now the sword is mightier than the pen in a fateful peninsula called Korea. What are we getting from the line, Kennedy? Nothing, sir. Shall I check again? No, well, if there was anything doing, we'd be able to hear it. Get Fox and easy, anyhow. Yes, sir. Will uh, you talk, Major? Only if Captain Gould and or Lieutenant Gray have something to talk about. Uncle Dudley calling Fox One. Fox One, what's cooking? Weather look clear? Right. Over. Nothing, Kennedy? Nothing, sir. Uncle Dudley calling Easy One. Easy One? Right, Easy One. Over. Well, that's how we stand, Major. Gray says it's like a rainy Sunday night down on the farm. No artillery, no mortars, no small arms fire, no red patrols, no nothing. Now I'm worried. The reds are bad enough when they're up to something. But they stay in their own backyard three days straight. Look out. Question is, sir, what are they up to? They're not relieving. They're not reinforcing. All that makes noise. And nobody's heard a peep out of them in three days. Well, they tried to take us by assault last week, and they got properly clobbered. And we're dug in too strong, sir. And yet, they have to try to do something about us. We're like a sore thumb sticking into that position. Well, sir, maybe they figure if they ignore us, we'll just go away. George Company is in reserve. The men are pretty well rested. Get four or five of your best and send them out on a patrol. Yes, sir. Uncle Dudley calling George One. George One, the honeymoon's over. Come on, cut it out already, will you? Cut it out, will you? Well, I don't 
don't know about you. I got four deuces. Naturally. I got a full house. How do you I'm like that? not interested in any of your long, sad stories. I win the pot. Well, Jacobs, better luck next time. Four of a kind. The guy lives right. Why shouldn't <laughs> he live right, huh? Yeah. When he's home, what does he do all day? Feeds chickens and milks the cows. Yeah. How can you get into trouble? Your deal, city boy. Uh-oh, look who's here. If ever I saw bad news written on a man's face. All right, Mercury, speak. His name ain't Mercury. Mercury was the messenger of the gods. Hi, Sarge. The old man want me, Troop? Yeah. What does it sound like? A patrol. We're supposed to be in reserve. Can you imagine what a fine, respectable war this would be if there weren't any patrols? Do you out, Sarge, huh? I think you'd better, Jacobs. After all, the old man wants me. How did it look if I told him I was too busy playing cards? Come on, let's go, Troop. Hey, tell me something, city boy. Do you got a list of stupid questions? They just come into your head like... Troop says it uh, smells like a patrol. City boy, you know, I got you beat again. I got aces. Start complaining. Ah, quiet. <laughs> Patrol, huh? Well, just let me get rid of all my bad luck right now. That's how it is, Standish. Has been quiet these past few days, sir. Well, the outpost doesn't hear anything. Air observation doesn't see anything. I agree with the old man. When they're quiet, start to sweat. How many men you want me to take, sir? Three and yourself ought to do it. Now, I don't have to tell you how to behave in a deal like this. You've been in on enough of them. Matter of fact, maybe you'll want more than three men. Oh, no, no, sir. Four of us in all should be enough. We'll try for a prisoner, and that'll take time, because just any prisoner won't do. That's right. With those jokers you don't know, you might grab yourself a red-hot commissar. Oh, we'll try to stay in there as long as we safely can, sir. Just keep our ears and eyes open. Okay. Now, anything you want to know? Well, our company's been out of the line a week, sir. I'd like another look at the latest map. Good. Here you are. Uh-huh. Now, we've got the high ground still, and our fire commands our left flank. They've really got ourselves a position here, sir. How can they afford to let us keep it? How can they afford to take it? <laughs> they tried last week, remember? But they have to do something, something bold, unorthodox. Haven't we been up against that division before, sir? I think it's the best outfit they've got. You can expect them to try anything, and they will, too. Well, sir, there's no moon tonight, so the sooner I get started, the more darkness I'll have. Okay, Sergeant Standish. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Uh, coffee before you go? Troop has a pot boiling. No, thank you, sir. I got three boys back in the hut. The suspense must be killing him. Okay. Goodbye, sir. Bye. Goodbye, Sarge. So long, Mercury. Why does he call you Mercury. Beats me, sir. That Stanish, he sure has some flowery ways of talking sometimes. Yes, don't he? he does. Doesn't stop him from being the best sergeant in this man's army. Yeah, but what do we have to know? We know the Reds are out there. So what are we going to find out? No kidding, Sergeant Standish. Is this trip necessary? You know, men, the trouble with us is we aren't in the movies. You see, in the movies, if you want to know what the enemy's up to, there are any number of things you can do. The favorite one is to get a beautiful girl to sing in a cafe where the enemy generals hang out. Well, out here, we happen to be a little short of beautiful girls. So we send out a patrol. Next question. Yeah, but if it's so quiet, why do we have to go out there and spoil everything? City boy, you know, for the first time in your long and wasted life, you spoke a word of common sense. How soon we taken off, Sarge? The minute I get the word that the line's been alerted, a patrol's going out. Now, get rid of your letters from home, your wallets. The only identification on anyone is his dog tags. Now, why do I tell you this? It isn't as though we haven't gone out on a few of these before. You know, I remember the first time I went out on a patrol. Oh, was... brother. Here we go again. Hey, Sarge. The word is out. Okay, thanks, Mercury. Hey, Mercury, lend me your forty-five, huh? Oh, listen to him. You think you're going to do some fighting? Come on, lend it to him, will you? Okay, okay. Did I say No. Make sure you bring it back. I assure you, he'll be only too happy to bring it back. I'm telling you now, Pete. If you fire it, you're going to have to clean it. Well, gentlemen, shall we fare forth? Hey, Pete. No kidding. Bring back my 45, will you? Jacobs. 
Let's wait for Doc and Pete to come up. I hope they could see me. No, don't worry about those two. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're coming. Where are we, Sarge? I don't know. Can you make out the woods just ahead? Yeah, I'd say it's about 30 yards. Well, some of them are dug in there. It's too quiet. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Now you can appreciate what's bothering the old man. Figure they might have withdrawn. Not those babies. You know, we'll have to keep on our bellies. Same positions. I'll be in front. Jacob's on my left. Pete on the right, Doc. You in the rear. Hey, listen. What? I could have sworn I heard the bull click. All right, all right. Keep low, keep low. Those traces are way over our heads. Is he speculating or did he hear us? Well, we'll soon find out. Hey, Sarge. I'm in a kind of furrow. No, it's a dried up creek bed. Okay, that's good cover. Let's get into it. Pete Jacobs, move back toward Doc. Yeah. I wonder where this thing leads. Seems to be curving toward their line. Hey, them reds sure smell something. We must have been spotted. This patrol might be at an end right now. We'd better try for the prisoner. No sense coming back empty handed. How can we go in for a prisoner? They're looking for us. We won't go in. We'll make one of them come out. Yeah? Uh huh. Wait till he fires again. Then, Jacobs, you put on an act. Let out a howl. Play it big. My wife always said I should have been an actor. How right that girl is. Make sure the whole world hears you, Jacobs. You just cover your ears, men. Well, what's the matter with that clown? Why doesn't he shoot? Hey, meathead, what'd you do? Break the firing pin? Well, come on. You're not doing right by your buddy Malenkov. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. You're overdoing it. What's going to happen now? Now a volunteer is going to come out. Either to bring you in or finish you off. Let's get set to jump him. Yeah, I think that was for good measure. Anyone coming, Pete? Oh, I can't see a thing. Hey, how'd I do? Oh, your performance was perfect. But I'm afraid the audience didn't show up. Ah, Sarge, up ahead. Is that guy coming toward us? Hey, easy. That's my public. All right, let's get set to give him an autograph. Hey, he's got a long knife in his hand. Uh-oh, he's walking in the wrong direction. Give him a cue, Jacobs. Yeah. Here he comes. He holds that knife like he knows the score. He'll get set to jump him. Follow my lead. Now? <laughs> All right, friend. Maybe you can't understand what I'm saying, but you can understand this. Get moving. Keep low. Push him down, Doc. Yeah. My own, my own, what the? My own. Get him! All right, down into the creek bed. Sarge, I'm sorry. I don't know how he did it, but all of a sudden he just twisted away from me. Are you all right, Doc? Yeah, I think so. Gee, I gave such a good performance, too. Yeah, it's too bad, but we're all to blame. We were too overconfident. We low-rated him. What do we do now, Sarge? Hey, look! They're sending up flares. That's all right. If we keep low, they won't be able to see us. We can't jump out of here and go back now with those flares. They'll see us playing this day. You know, it's a good thing you stumbled into this creek bed, Doc. Let's move forward. Forward? Why not? They probably figure we're out hiding behind bushes, trying to make our way back home. It don't make sense for us to try to penetrate their lines now. That's right, it don't. Yeah, yeah, so that's why we're going to do it. Come on, follow me. You are listening to the proudly we hail production, Four of a Kind. We'll return in just a moment for the second act. Young man, if you're interested in continuing your education, here is important news for you. The senior service of our armed forces, the United States Army, urgently needs qualified technicians to operate and maintain the many kinds of equipment that science has brought into being. Right now, men are being trained in such varied fields as radio, radar, meteorology, mechanics, electronics, photography, and many, many others. This training is given by the finest technical training schools in the world. It's an excellent opportunity for young men with intelligence and ambition. It can be the start of a great career for you. For full details, visit your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station. Do it today. You are listening to Proudly We Hail... And now we present the second act of Four of a Kind. A dark night in Korea. Four men on an important patrol action close to enemy lines. 
still at it. Stock again, Sarge. I don't think they'll send up any more flares. We gotta be right against their lines, Sarge. That shooting's real close. Yeah, there's a foxhole just off to our right. One or two of them firing a rifle. Shh. I, I, I think I hear something. Who here speaks Chinese? There's only one way to figure, Sarge. Sounded to me like some guys got into the hole and some guys got out and walked away. Yeah, that's right. Probably relieving. That means that the two men who are in there now are supposed to stay there for a while. You want to try to grab one of them and bring them back? You know, I may be wrong, but that foxhole seems to be on higher ground than the rest of the terrain around it. Now, maybe if we could uh, neutralize the two men in it, we could see something from the top. I think they got an entrance in the rear. The guys who came in sound like they came in through the back. Yeah, this is going to be the hard part. We'll have to crawl past the front of it to get around to the rear. There's no sense in all four of us trying to get past. All right, I'll go. And Jacobs, you're the smallest. Come with me. Now, right now, Jacobs, they just got there. Their eyes aren't used to the dark yet. Okay. Here's where it's tough. The creek bed rises to ground level. Right now, we're in the clear. Morning. All right, don't move, Jacobs. Okay, come on. I think we're in back of them now. It's over here, Sarge. The entrance to the foxhole. No, no, this is no good. You have to crawl in. There's only room for one of us at a time. They'd be bound to hear us. Yeah, of course. Hey, we could roll a couple of grenades in there, and that'll be the ball game. Mm-hmm. But that's not what we want to do. Hey, someone's coming. Can he see us? Well, we can't afford to move. Just hug the ground and take a chance. What is that all about? I don't know. These two just get here, and this other fellow comes and fetches them to go somewhere else. Meanwhile, there's no one in the hole. Maybe they're all pulling out. No, not these babies. They're up to something, all right. You go around and get Doc and Pete. <laughs> make of this. They're pulling out the men from all these foxholes, and yet the men are leaving their equipment in the hole, so they're not they pulling out. anybody on guard around here, Sarge? Yeah, there's one man in a hole about 50 feet to our right. You can't see it, but I know he's there. Where are all these other jokers going? Looks to me as though they pulled out almost everybody for some reason. You think maybe they're ganging up for a sneak attack? No, no. I mean, it doesn't have the feel of an attack. Those fellas look to me as though they were being assigned to a, I don't know, a detail of some kind. Oh, come on. Frontline troops pulling the detail? What's the matter? You never heard of it? Uh oh Oh, oh, oh. Hold him, hold him out. Let him down easy. Where did he come from? Beats me. I would just happen to be looking off to my left when somebody stepped from behind a tree. Oh, good work, Doc. I don't think this one will get away. Hey, Sarge, he looks like an officer to me. Uh, wait, no, no, he's not an officer. I don't even think he's in their army. He ain't in the army. What's he doing here? Well, he's wearing army-type clothes. He must be some kind of civilian specialist. See what's in that pouch on his belt. Yeah. Eh... Uh, Looks like a map case. Well, it's too dark to try to see what it's all about. Okay, let me have it. What do we do about Buster here, Sarge? He ought to be out for quite a while. Let's leave him for the time being. Where to now? I don't know what's up ahead. There must be a whole gang of them around here somewhere. Oh, man. Could I go for a cigarette? Yeah. Yeah, that's an idea. Light one. Here? Yeah? No, nah, never mind. I'll do it. Who's got a match? Sarge, you can't... Right, nah, just watch what happens. I could live to be 150. I'll never understand that guy. <sighs> okay. That's all I want to know. See, they figured one of their men got careless and lit a cigarette. Now we know where they are. Straight ahead. Hey, Sarge. You know we can push our luck just a little bit too far? We're not pushing our luck, Doc. It's pushing us. <laughs> no noise now. I don't care if it takes an hour to travel 10 yards. Be careful. Sarge. Sarge, you see anything? Sounds like they're digging in. What's that rolling sound? Wheelbarrows. Wheelbarrows? You know, this must be where everyone from the line went. Must be digging new strong points. I don't think so. They're doing something underground. You see those fellas with the wheelbarrows? They're disappearing into that pit. That big guy with a cloth around his head, he's going into the pit. I want to watch for him to come out. Hey, 
Maybe they discovered gold. Sure, and they'd call in a war while they dig for it. Now, I got an idea. It sounds crazy, but I can hardly wait to see what's in this pouch we took from that civilian. I didn't see your boy come out of that pit yet, Sarge. Here he is. Here he comes now. Your bear is full of dirt. Well, looks like a big shot showed up. A general, at least. How would you like to bring him back? <laughs> that lucky we ain't. What are they doing here, anyhow? This is how it looked in New York when they were building the subway. Hey, Sarge, is that a tunnel? Are they digging a tunnel toward our lines? Uh, uh, hey, that sounds like the civilian. Now, how could he come through so fast? He must have a head like a rock. Gentlemen, I believe we've overstayed our welcome. There's no place like home. Listen, don't head directly for the line. Move along parallel to it. All right, let's go. Yeah. Get back to the same place we entered. There's no one there. <laughs> Do they see us? No, 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 no. They're just shooting on general principles. Hey, I thought there was nobody supposed to be here, Sarge. All right, we got him first. That's a foxhole where we came in, Sarge. On the back of it, let's try to find that creek bed. Yeah. We'll need the cover. Hurry, they'll have those flares up again any second. This way, Sarge. All right, hit the ground. Here we... Man, that was close. Here go the flares. Mortars. They were covered for gunfire, but those mortars can find us. Let's get a move on, Sarge. No, stay here. Those mortars are searching up ahead. They figure we're heading home. Just stay here. They won't drop any shells this close to their own line. Sarge, you know, a guy can get killed out here. Yeah, I know. It won't be light for four hours yet. All we can do is wait. Well, kid, I uh, like our little war. I, I hope none of our guys got hit by all that shooting. <laughs> I got a patrol out there, kid. The fireworks were for them. Do, do I know the fellas? No, squad from G Company. Do you suppose any of them were hit? No, well, they're way overdue. Patrol. You know, I've only been here one day, and well, this isn't so bad. I mean, we got good positions here, but you mean. Guys just sneak out and try to get through the red lines? Exactly. Will we go on patrols, too? Yeah, there's no point thinking about that now. Anyway, you get used to it. Say, do you suppose those guys from G Company are okay? Hey, Ferris. Huh? Ferris. What? Straight ahead. I hear something. Should I swing the gun around? Should I start shooting? What do we do? Shh, just take it easy, kid. Just take it easy. Now, pull up bolt back so she's ready to fire. Come on, now. Keep your hand off the trigger. Now, what do we do? We just wait. Somebody's coming. Should we... Shh. We give the password. They give the countersign. If they don't, then open up. Go ahead, now. Give the password. Okay. Halt. Roller coaster. Coney Island. Ah, oh, it's Standish from G Company. Hey, come on, get in here. <clears throat> oh, you boys are out late. Yeah, we stopped in for a couple of beers. Huh. Men's been sweating you out. They've been checking the line regular. And what are the Reds doing out there? Plenty. This civilian was evidently an engineer, Major. There's no doubt about it. So that's what they've been doing. This map doesn't show much. Your man was probably in a subordinate position in charge of a very small section. But it looked to you, Sergeant, as though they were tunneling, eh? Yes, sir. It's a major project. I'd say every available man is working away with a shovel and a wheelbarrow. Say, uh, you think they have an idea to mine our positions from underneath, Major? Well, it's a good World War I tactic. And we seem to be fighting the same kind of war of position. Well, as long as we're prepared for them. I'll get all this information back to regiment. They'll set up countermeasures. Good work, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. Let's be on our way, Kennedy. Uh, you and your squad had better spend the rest of the night here, Standish. Uh, troop, see if you can get up a little chow and some more coffee. Yes, sir. Well, make yourselves comfortable. I'm going to turn in. Yeah, the old man couldn't sleep a wink while you were gone. He's a warrior, the old man is. Hey, come on, come on. Who's got the cards? Boy, you sure can take it, city boy. Listen, you, my luck has got a time. Hey, where's my 45 caliber pistol? Here you are, Mercury. Hey, you fired it. 
All right, give it back. I'll clean it. Yeah, fat chance I'll ever see it again. I'll clean it myself. Some people are never satisfied. Hey, you want more coffee, Sergeant Standish? Yeah, thanks, Mercury. Hey, uh, Sarge, how was it? How was it? We went out, we went in, there was a big fuss, we came back. Oh, hey, there must have been more than that. <laughs> You're supposed to be a writer, Sarge. Come on, you can describe it better than that. All right, all right, listen to me. Uh, <clears throat> the russet mantle of night covered the ravaged earth like an ominous shroud. Yeah, that's more like it. Uh-huh. Steel helmeted, rifles at the ready, noiseless as shadows, and only silent rocks to know they were drifting by. Two pair. Three eights, pay me. Hey, Sarge, I beat him. Will <laughs> you guys shut up? Now, go ahead, Sarge. So the American patrol, four of the infantry's best, set out for a little unfriendly game of poker with the enemy. Only this wasn't penny ante stuff. And if they hit the jackpot every time, it's no accident. Because Mr. Four of Our Kind will always take nearly everything in the deck. It shall not happen here. That is the unspoken prayer of every man in the United States Army. That is the unspoken reason for our growing military might. But the time has come to speak. The time has come to tell of that small phrase, those five words, it shall not happen here. Let us speak only to those young men of America who have not taken pause to think. Let's shout it in a voice that will reach into every city and village across the length and breadth of this great land. Young, Young men, man, you, you are, are needed. needed. You, you are, are needed, needed to help preserve the peace. peace. You, you are, are needed, needed to serve in your United, United States, States Army, Army to ensure for your loved ones that it shall not happen here. here. You are urged to visit your local United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station at your earliest opportunity and ask about the technical careers of the United States Army. The need is urgent. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center for the United States Army and United States Air Force Recruiting Service. This is Kenneth Banghart speaking and inviting you to tune in this same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail. <laughs>